Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games So Little Time. My name is Joachim and today we will be unboxing Earth Under Siege Flashpoint with basically the all-in pledge with the World, World Killer expansion, the Campaign Trace, Terrain Pack, Operative Expansion, sculpt, Sculpted Tokens, Extra Dice Set and Plastic uh, Tokens. So obviously we'll start with the base game, then with the World Killer expansion and then all the black and white boxes. So here we have the base box. So let's take a look at what it looks like on the side. So like this, one of four players, 60 to 90 minutes, 14 plus. This side. Well, I have to watch out that this box is not actually falling off. You'll see why in a second. There you go. And the final side. There you go. Then at the bottom of the box, we have this one. There we go. There we go. So long pack games and Dark Horizon games. Long pack is of course the people who built the game, who produced it. And uh, Dark Horizon, of course, designed it and everything else. Okay, so here we go. Top. I don't think there'll be art on the inside. There's none. And then we immediately have some uh, player sheets, boards, I guess you could say, but they're just paper. So Oscar Vasquez, a combat medic. Oscar Frosty Vasquez. So this is the uh, upgraded version, maybe? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, each character has, uh, I remember now, has their uh, mode where you can just use them as a sidekick, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Olivia Mad Doc Moss. Marissa Vasquez. Soldier. The other one was a science officer. Kyle Moss. Or Kyle Trickshot Moss. Commander Hicks, team leader, or Commander Hicks. Yeah. <laughs> Billy Nomates squad member. So, uh, so Billy Nomates is a sniper. There we go. Okay, so those are the different squad members. Then I have the escalation track. So it's slowly going to be moving on. Uh, and the wave tracker. Okay. Gravity Maw. There we go. And Kazag. Or Kazag. Okay, so here we have the base record sheet. So, base record sheet. Different locations. And uh, same thing, I guess. Yeah, you can just use it twice. Okay. Then we already have minis, and I'm so happy there's no tape. I'm sorry, but I hate it. If you've seen the unboxing uh, from, I think, Harakiri it was. Oh man, I hate tape. Okay, let's take a look at the minis. There we go. So these are all the individual Squad members, seems like. Miniatures are okay, they're cool, they're nice. Stop. Okay, and there's two of these. And if you want to know how it plays, or at least how an earlier prototype played, you can see the playthrough on the channel. If you look for Earth Under Siege Flashpoint. And it's with a designer, so you can uh, 
see the questions that were asked and, and, and pointers that were given, obviously. There we go. The laptop is a nice touch. Then there's two of these. Two of these. And done. And it seems to be like oh, six of these. Yeah, nice. Three of these, they're cool. Yeah, I like these. Reminds me more of DSX than uh, XCOM, those. And there's six of these. Yeah, I mentioned XCOM because I felt like this game was basically XCOM the board game. Not completely, of course. Uh, there's a lot of uh, other touches to it, but Reminds me a lot of XCOM, but then also other stuff like DSX and so on. Uh, which I feel is a good thing, by the way. I like I like the minigun. There's two of those. Then there's some gaps here, which I think will be filled up with the stuff we will see in the other boxes later on. So underneath we have another couple of trays. Which is good because you want more minis, more minis, and then some more minis. Okay, there are like, what is it, six of these guys as well. More cannon fodder. Because you know what it means in miniature world. There's more of them. It means they're weaker and they're easier to kill. And there's only two of these. Nice. And then another six of these. Yep. All right. There we go. I'm oh, sorry, there's three of these. Now the chances of me actually painting this, oh, it's it's really low because I don't paint much these days. But that's okay. I've learned to live with it. I used to have the idea like I'm not I'm only gonna play a game when I when it's fully painted. But uh, yeah, that's uh, not in the realm of possibility anymore unless I will never play. Okay, so this is one piece, I guess. The tray, not the series. So I can take this off. And there's some really cool ones here. But we'll start with these regular guys, where there's like three of them. There we go. Then there's three of these. Oh, nice. Some nice details as well. And this guy, I'm not sure if he's together with the mini underneath him, which I'll show in a second, but I'm not going to show them both at the same time because it's not really going to work. But I like this guy. Yeah, he's very imposing. There's three of them and all three of them have this. Their own personal drone, I guess. Oh, focus, man. Oh, stop it. Okay, so they all, they all have one. So I guess they come together. And then there's two of these ones. They look more like psionics. Mm 
and three of these with the uh, very imposing gun. There you go. And then three of these. They're like running, I guess they're they're rushing. But uh, you know, they also look kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm sure when you encounter them, it's not going to be that funny. And of course, one of the head honchos, or the head honcho, I should say, the big boss. There we go. I'm guessing this guy is also not going to be a pushover. go and then these next two are really cool they seem the same but they're not this could be a, I don't know I'm just guessing here but it could be that it's actually the same person in a different phase because this guy has no arms right I mean you could say he has multiple arms but he has no physical arms seems like at least where they're supposed to be and this guy does so is it two different guys, or is it like phase two, where he lost his arms or whatever? Uh, I guess just to play and see what happens. Okay. So that is, I believe, the first part done of this box. Yes, there's nothing underneath. So... And put all this back and see what's in the second part. Well, I can just put this like this and we're gonna have to work. Or oh, wait, well, I don't know why I'm saying work. But. Oh, and it's so nice. This comes with a plastic clip so you don't have to use uh, spare scissors or anything. So these punch boards will are very easy to get to. The first one. So I think a lot of these will make sense, you know, in these tactical games. And also some of these will be replaced by the terrain, like the turrets, I believe, will be replaced. And most of these tokens will actually be replaced by the pl plastic version that we'll see later on. Yeah. Even these engineers, I think, will also be replaced. Okay. Insertion point, extraction point. Okay. So those are the uh, punch boards. And then we have a big, big, big... Well, no, no, no. Sorry, there are two of them. The rule book is not as thick because I, I was feeling the, I thought the campaign book was part of the rule book. I was like, wow, it really ballooned in rules, but it, it didn't, luckily. So here we go. The different names of the means we just saw. So there are two hunter killers. That's the one with the no arms or no arms. So it's not like a phase one or two. Okay. So operative dashboard and squad member dashboards. Okay. All right, rounds of play, gear cards. Because you do have a timer when you play the missions, so you can get loot and try to figure out how to use the alien weapons, but it, it's a bit tricky because you also want to make sure you finish the mission. So, a rare and unmarried enemies, stealth checks, blips and spawning enemies, yeah. spawn events. Technicians in the control room. So once again, if you want to know quickly how the game flows, you can check the video where we play it on TTS. All right, focusing, suffering damage, 
wound card, rolling dice, conditions, enemy phase, the escalation phase, which is always bad, additional rules, playing with squad members. It's another thing, you can play solo with squad members, but you can also just do full solo and control everyone, I guess. Glossary, index, player aid, the uh, credits, and another player aid at the back, which is good. Then we have the campaign book, which is nice and thick, like I said, just look. So I'm not, I'm not going to do any spoilers. Just say there's two game modes, the campaign mode, the standard way to play it, and the assault mode, which can, allows you to play any campaign or special op mission as a standalone game. All right, so starting a campaign, some explanations there. Uh, the mission phase, uh, the briefing, and the HQ phase, and then see how you spend whatever you've earned and taken home. All right, resolve wounds, base divisions, special ops, overlord battles. And assault mode. This is the first mission, Counter-Strike. And this is the one that I played uh, with the designer. So you can check it here. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the rest, OK? I'm going to stop here. At the end, you see the Valor rewards that you can get. All right, and then we have a board. There we go. One of the locations. Yep. Some hallways. Or corners anyway. There we go. We got some more here. So exit and enter. Okay, exit and enter. Are these double sided? Yes, they are. Okay. It's a restroom, bathroom, the janitor's closet. Okay. And then I'm, I'm interested in the tiles first, obviously. Go for these two. Up. All right. So, final set of tiles. I think these are a little bit more exciting because the bigger the room, the cooler the art, and the more stuff that's happening. There we go. I guess this could be like this. There we go. All right. Nice. And then we have a bunch of cards that we will uh, look at. But then, I don't know if I want... With these kind of games, with campaigns and everything, I don't really, really want to look at cards because I don't want to get spoiled. Like, I don't know if it says don't look at this or look at this or, you know. And from what I remember, the art on the cards is, 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 is good, but it's nothing like you gotta, you gotta see this, you know. It's not like a, it's not like a game like the gallerist or whatever. So it's functional art, the, the weapons are cool and everything, but like these are the cards that you use as a character on your turn, like which ones you activate. For example, move, move, move. And if you use the token, you can do the bottom as well. So there's a bunch of stuff here. Like, I'm not gonna go through these, obviously, but 
they just i guess these also allow them to uh upgrade maybe if you have the metal and so on could be but yeah so there's a bunch of these so not really worth it all that much to go through i mean cool while you're playing but in an unboxing you know and it seems like this is another deck full of these so i'm just gonna leave it as as is okay these are more like enemies so that might be a little bit more interesting just to give you an idea what they look like in the end we've already seen the miniatures anyway so seeing their card counterparts is okay i guess so you got red ones so green and red alert you know these are the red ones so these are obviously the more powerful ones as well so you can see the art on them sometimes there's different guys All right and here the uh these are the more these are the easier ones i mean they still look pretty impressive but yeah okay And next we have these brown cards, right? But once again, art-wise, you know, there seem to be missions and everything. And then we have more action cards. Then we have trauma cards that you can have, okay. Then we have injuries, like a bad knee, this happens when an arrow hits it, of course. And uh, other things, concussion, uh, and so on. And then these cards, which honestly, I have forgotten specifically what they, what they are, but it's obviously a positive and a negative effect. So, yeah. All right, I don't know. Like I said, we played the game, but it's been, it's been a while. It's been a good while, so... These might have been in the playthrough, but I don't recall. All right, so then we have a little baggie for the tokens, but it's not necessary. Well, it doesn't have anything written on it or whatever. We have the dice. I guess we can look at these. And I can compare them with the other dice. Because initially I thought I just order an, an extra set, but it's apparently a special set. So these are the, the dice. All right. They look cool. They look nice. Good dice. The ones that I got are a little bit more special. And you can see the difference. Of course, it's a matter of uh, taste, you know. Uh, not taste, a matter of preference. I'm just keeping them both, uh, obviously. Because then if you play with two, everyone has their own sets. And even the sets look different. So you can't say, hey, that one die was my die. And you argue about it. Nope, not in this case. All right, then a set of small cards. Seems to be more like tactics, ca tactic cards and ex uh, expert cards and uh, so on like a seer instructor munitions expert r d team staff doctor specialists they all, that you can hire i imagine then you have these which are all these events i guess as well i'm just guessing here okay so there's a whole stack of them then we have a bunch of purple cards, which is which are the alien texts, if I'm not mistaken, targeting matrix, psi amplifier, heavy and cursor rifle, zethan communicator. It's a little bit spoilerific here, so I'm just going to uh, not go through everything. And then you have some uh, other cards that you can, I think you could choose in beginning, like because they're all set up, or well, not set up, but once permission you can do something. So. Those are those kind of cards. Uh, then we have these. Oh, these are actually tiles. I thought we finished the tiles, but these are another set of tiles in plastic. It doesn't have anything like, don't open this yet. So I guess these can just be opened. I guess it's just to stop them from going all over the place and transport, potentially. So, 
There you go. I think we've seen most of these already, although the lasers are new. On the other side. Okay. Ah, oh, this is off, this is on. Okay. This is just, I don't know. Okay. Go back. And this is the last part of this box. And these, I believe, also have to do with the missions. And the longer cards. So Victoria, squad member abilities. Vector squad, Kane squad, Luna squad, Mama Bear squad, Ruru squad. So Billy squad, Hicks squad, Kai, Marissa. Okay, I guess it has to do with upgrades. I'm not sure. Player aids. Okay. And then, of course, the enemies, the Hunter Killer, Gate Shaper, Mind Killer, Marauder, Warbringer, Headhunter, War Leader, Gun Drone, Enslaver, Dominator, Spotter Drones, Stalkers, Volmacht Fire Team, Reaver, Volmacht Heavy, Ravagers, Volmacht grunts and then uh, depending on what you've chosen I guess there's extra setup stuff and uh, I don't know if there's a specific difference between these guys this is three two five two 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 four one so I guess it has to do with whether or not a certain alarm went off because these are way redder than these or elite things like that Okay, so that's this box done. So, oh, no, 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 no. There's still one deck here that we didn't open. That also seems to have uh, weaponry that we can check out. There we go. Weaponry, but also equipment like uh, Adrenaline shots, flechette rounds, panther assault system, Cerberus multi-taser. But once again, I don't want to really go through it. I want to be surprised. Laser sights, Volmark disguise, wet work blade, prowler silence rifle, and then other people you can hire, I imagine. Okay, so that stuff, especially since one that I want to keep. I surprise myself a little. So. I'm going to open the uh, World Killer Expansion next. So here's the World Killer Expansion. So here we go. The signs. It's noticeably lighter than the other box, but of course the other one is a double box, so... Okay, here we go. Yeah. So obviously you're supposed to finish the first game because they said the war is not over. It's set on the back. So, the campaign book. Thinner than the first one, of course, but it's normal with most um, expansions. So now we have Black Ops strategy, water zones, tree zones, fences, guard towers, trucks, control rooms. Okay, so all the way to 30 it seems okay then we here we have world killer let's take it out we have world killer there we go and this year then we have some punch boards well no we have one punch board there we go And we have, well, quite a number of tiles. Here we go. Nice. 
Really cool graphics, actually. Yeah. And then the other side. And the final one. Okay, those are the tiles. Then we have some new enemies. I'm going to go through the enemy cards. I'm not going to go through the other cards. Uh, leave some things to wonder about. So the Thought Reaper, the Assault Drone, the Berserker, and the Awakened. Okay, so and then the weaker version on the other side. Because in the end, it's just going to be stuff that you want to discover, right? Same with the weapons. We don't want to spoil that, so we'll just skip it. And we will first look at the Awakened. There's three of those. And then three... Oh, what was it? Berserkers. There we go. Then we've got two assault drones. And they look really cool. Yeah. Nice. Then we've got two thought reapers with the tentacles. Now we've got the seer. And of course, the pièce de résistance, the big guy. It's the world killer. Very cool. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really, really good. And once again, there's space, but that might be for the cards. Um, so let's take a look and see what is in all these black boxes. Okay, so the first one that we're looking at are the plastic tokens. So, of course, there's a bunch of them. And they all look kind of like this. Just plastic tokens, you know. And they're nice and thick. The weight is okay. No real need, no real need to show the others. It's all just plastic version of the others, so whatever. So then we have the campaign trees. So... Let's take a look at these. These look nice. So when you play the campaign, this will allow you to save everything. So this is per squad member that you have, because there's four of them, I imagine. And then this will let you save the other stuff. Don't know exactly what goes where, but I'm sure we can find it online somewhere. It doesn't come with a card or whatever. But these seem to be like, I don't know, the trays maybe? Uh, the, the tiles? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. But that is the campaign trays. Then we have the, uh, let's do the sculpted tokens first. So if I'm not mistaken, these will replace the engineers and some other units. So instead of a token, 
it will become a character. So as you can see, that is a fact. So, or maybe it's not an engineer, but I think it is. Yeah, it does look like him. So it's always nicer to have the miniatures on the board instead of a token. Yeah. Of course, the question is, all these things, can they actually fit in any of the base boxes? I hope so, although maybe you will have to get rid of some of the inserts there. Let's do the terrain pack first, because the operative expansion feels kind of heavy. Here's a terrain pack. So, it comes with these gates that'll be spawn points. Okay, there's a bunch of them. I guess we're getting a lot of uh, <laughs> spawns. Then these are turrets, there's four of those. So once again, instead of just a token, you're gonna have an actual turret. And you have a lot of doors, basically. Uh, different types of doors, it seems like. As you can see, and I think there's a way to lock the door. Yeah, here we go. Up. So, I don't know if it's supposed to click. I think this is it, yeah. And then when you open it, zip, there you go. The door is open. And uh, there's different bags of doors, but I mean, they all seem roughly the same. Yeah, they all seem... Oh no, some of them have like a little bit, look a little bit different. Like the door we just saw has a, has a kind of like a key card on it. Well, this door is just a, a regular door. It doesn't have a key card on it. So I guess it's necessary to differentiate to differentiate that you need to for some doors you need to pick up a key. All right, cool. Very nice. Okay. I'm pretty sure if my daughter sees this, she'll ask some of the doors to use for uh, for her own houses, <laughs> especially if I paint it pink. Our favorite color. Okay, so let's take a look at the operative expansion. This is the last one. Then we will have finished this expansion. Okay. It's a bit tricky to open because the door. Okay. So this 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 looks really nice because I was thinking it would be really nice if there are more operatives to increase the replayability, different skills. So we've got a Victoria Usman squad member. And here she is Dr. Victoria Usman as combat medic. Ruru, so a sniper. And when we flip her over, she is just Ruru. Mama Bear Moss, so team leader. And just Mama Bear Moss. Vector squad member. So yeah, last time when we saw the cards with the upgrades, that's one for each. So now it makes sense with the names. Vector. There we go. Luna squad member. So assassin, sorry. And then Kane soldier. There we go. So we're not gonna go through their cards, but I am going to show you the minis. There's a bunch of cards that's all for their actions and so on. So here's the first mini. It 
it does also allow you for some experimentation, you know, like a squad with mostly just soldiers, uh, run and gun guys, or a squad of medical officers and so on. Of course, there's no, I don't think there's, there are four medical officers or four soldiers, but you know what I mean. Like consisting, consisting mostly of those and just see if you can make it, you know. <laughs> Here you go. Obviously the soldier. All right. This one's really cool. Very nice. And the final one. It also allows you to have an all female squad or an all male squad and stuff like that. Cool. I always like variation. Okay, so that was the operative expansion. Uh, I think these guys will be able to fit in the main box for sure. Maybe, oh, maybe there was an update somewhere to show what goes where. Uh, I obviously missed that, but um, keep an eye on the Kickstarter. I'm sure they'll talk about it if they haven't yet, about what goes where. Anyway, this was the, uh, exp well, not the expansion, just Earth Under Siege Flashpoint and its expansion and everything else. Um, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, I will do playthroughs and so on if time's al time allows it. Uh, I can't promise it super early, but I'll do my best. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Do let me know any comments that you feel, that, feel to share. I'm uh, always willing to read and reply and so on. Anyway. My name is Joachim and always will be. So, so many games for all the time. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye.